So she starts to reach out. Uh, luckily, I had some friends in media and they were like, something's weird about why she wants to chat with you. So I had my attorney respond to her. And, you know, a lot of times people say, don't even respond to these people. But I think I had some like chutzpah. I was just like, you know, I don't have anything to hide. I, I should, we should be able to tell them everything. And, you know, we, my attorney was like, listen, we're going to give them everything that makes sense. There's some situations where, for example, she asked pre-publication, she said, you know, did you pay these clients on time? And of course I had paid them on time, but in order to prove that I would have to show her receipts and invoices from big fortune 500 companies that we were working with, which I had signed non-disclosure agreements, which basically means I can't talk about these deals. Right. So if a big company had paid the influencer late and I go and tell the New York times that then I could be sued for breach of my NDA with right. the big company. So she kind of put me between a rock and a hard place. We, 